Why do we date? To find love. Hello ladies and Ted Mosby's. This is one of my dating stories and people date to find love. We try to find a person that we are attracted to and can hang out with all the time and not get bored of. So when you are trying to find that person, you want that person to be right instead of wrong. Now one thing I look for when I do go on a date is if the girl allows me to talk, make conversation. I don't want anyone that talkative. And I should know this, and I guess it's like, oh, Jacob, when you go on dates, of course you'll have make conversation. Not unless you have a talkative dater. Let me explain. You see, about a year ago, I saw this girl, thought she was cute, so I went up to her, Talked to her, and I got her number. So to keep things in order and so I don't get confused, we'll call this girl Tessa. Not, not, it could be, that could be her name, or it could be that I forgot, shame on me. But Tessa and I, we were texting, we were getting along, it seemed we were, we were really hitting it off. She liked Disney. I liked Disney. She loved Marvel. I loved Marvel. Her favorite superhero was Spider-Man. My favorite superhero is Spider-Man. Now, the f nice thing is, if you can text a girl and you do make conversation back and forth, there is guarantee for a first date. Because it seems you can hold a conversation. Here's the problem with texting, though. And this is my personal pet peeve. You guys could think of something else entirely. But... The one problem I have with texting is that you, you're not sure if a person can hold a conversation. Because texting, it's like you text, and then the person's like, okay, what should I say? Because I got, I can literally say anything to make myself sound smart. There is no time limit when it comes to texting. But when you are on a date and you have to make conversation, there is a time limit. Because you can't just sit there and then just... A person says, like, so, what's your favorite color? You can't just go... Red. But, anyways, moving on with the story. Eventually, I text her saying, Hey, would you like... Are you available this Thursday? And she was like, yeah. Uh -uh, I'm free this Thursday. And then I was like, what you want to do? Then, she says, you know, I'd be down to do to go to downtown Disney and go on a date. Yeah, one thing we had in common was that we both worked at Disneyland. So, one benefit for anyone that's looking for a job and, you know, if you work for Disneyland, you can get into Disneyland for free. And I was, so... It's like, doesn't cost that much. I'd be like, yeah, I'm down to go to Disneyland. What's the worst that can happen? Should have knocked on wood. Thursday comes around and I get prepared. I try to smell good. I brush my teeth. I'm like, yeah, and put on my nice clothes. I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm looking flat. I'm looking, I'm looking swag. So I get to downtown Disney. I see her. She sees me. I say, you look fantastic. And she says, you you look good, too. And we proceed with the date. We eat at the only pizza place at Downtown Disney. People who have been there, you know what I'm talking about. So, the date starts off pretty good. I talk, she talks. She makes words, I make words. She says sentences, I say sentences. We are having a conversation. This is nice. I'm having a good time. She's having a good time. And... We finish the pizza, then we go to Disneyland. And that's when the date turns left because it ain't going right. You know, this date started out nice and normal, making conversation with one another, but I did mention she's a Disney fan. This girl was a hardcore Disney fan. And what I mean by that was that as soon as we walked into the park, 
She was saying, like, did you know this about Disney? Did you know that about Disney? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you? Can you see how that can be a little annoying? So I was saying, oh, that's interesting. Okay. Good to know. Even though I will not remember this. She goes on and on through the whole day, and I... I try. I literally try. I say, like, hey, did you know that there's a hidden Mickey on almost every ride? And she was like, yes, but you, do you know where? No. Now, this is a fun story. And she goes on about that. Probably should get my mouth shut, but I try. I try, people. I try. Anyways, to cut this video down, I think you get the point. She was a very talkative person. As soon as we walked into Disneyland, when the date was over, I say what any guy would say after our first date. I had a good time. And yes, I lied. I'm sorry. I did lie. And she, of course, told the truth. I think she said she had a good time too. And told me, hey, when you get home, please text me so I know you made it home safe. And you... You guys probably will think a little less of me, but I did not text her back. Th that's, that's really it. Point is, dating sucks.